the Premier Mike Baird, who has been seen as a bit of a campaigner for uh, medical marijuana, he has said that he wants to put money into research to, to help, uh, for medicinal reasons, making marijuana legal. But he found that there was a lot of people protesting on the day. There was one lady who came up to him after he had spoken. She yeah. said, he's a criminal now, my son, because he's smoking cannabis to help with the pain that he's going through. And because it's not legal and they, they say, sure, it's fine that they're pledging $21 million for research, but it's taking too long. Right. Because why do you need to do research? Because overseas, the research has been done. It's been happening. It's not like when a new medicine comes to Australia or of any other kind, where we're like, oh, this aspirin. Now, we better do some <laughs> local research into this aspirin before we let everybody else try this aspirin. The idea that for the people who are using it for these medicinal reasons and you're hearing these stories that, that are clearly so personal and so emotional mm. to these people... We've got to get over this idea of this other aspect to it. For these people, it's just medicine. Mm, it's yeah. the best medicine that they can use that in other countries has been approved for that use. You look at a place uh, like in America, in Denver, uh, overdoses on uh, prescription pain medication, so deaths from overdoses, have yeah. gone down 25% since they brought in medicinal and then legal marijuana because it's those sort of opiates, prescription opiates, things that people are getting from their doctors, like things like OxyContin, that end up killing people. People. So mm-hmm. you have this life-saving medicine, if you just want to think about it like that, medicine, and it, and they're not using it. It's, it's, it's crazy. Exactly. And the way it works there, obviously, and I'm sure it would be implemented the same here, is it's not just, well, it's legal now. And you can yeah. go and buy it like you could buy a can of soft drink or even a packet of cigarettes. Right. It's you need to you need to go to a doctor. You need to get a prescription like anything else. Yeah. And it can and has been proven to to help people uh, with pain, with uh, loss of appetite and and sleep deprivation for people, especially those who are going through cancer patients, find it to yeah. be extremely beneficial. There, there are over three million people in Australia with uh, chronic pain of some kind. So if you have like arthritis or osteoarthritis, which is what I have. It, it is the best thing that you can use for it. I mean, who knew the solution to joint pain was there in the name <laughs> the whole time? I mean, it's called chronic pain. It was staring at us exactly. in the face. And I went to Dr. Dre and he explained it all to me <laughs> and it all checks out.